In this Blender tutorial for beginners, I will show you how I made a simplified 2D eye rig. In front view, I add a new blank grease pencil object. In draw mode, I increase the strength to 1 and draw a circle for the first eye. I use Shift and Alt to draw out the circle from the center and make sure it is perfectly round. Once I have the size I want, I use the Enter key to set the scale. In Edit Mode, under the Materials tab, I add a new material called Eye with a stroke of black and a fill of white. In the Object Data Properties tab, under the Strokes panel, I change the thickness to 10. I rename the layer to I. Using the drop down menu, I duplicate the I and rename the new layer to Pupil. I lock the I layer, select the Pupil layer, and scale it to the desired size. Under the Materials tab, I make a new material named Pupil with no stroke and a fill of black. In the Object Data Properties tab, I activate the Mask option for the Pupil. In the Mask panel, I add a mask, choosing I, to add the mask to the Pupil. This prevents it from showing outside of the eye. I select the eye and pupil and add a mirror modifier to make the second eye. I then apply the modifier. I can now rig the eyes. In object mode, I add a single bone between the eyes, scale it up, I rotate it around the x-axis, negative 90 degrees. This will be the controller for both eyes. Under the Bone Properties tab, I rename the bone. In Edit Mode, I duplicate the bone and move it to the left eye. Rename in the bone I.L. I duplicate the bone a second time and move it to the right eye. Rename in the bone I.R. I use this naming convention so I can mirror the rig. Under the Active Tool tab, under the Options panel, I activate X-Axis Mirror. This will allow me to mirror everything on the left and right. I move the two bones to the center of the eyes. I will now rig the pupils by duplicating the eye bones. In the outliner, I open the armature and rename the duplicate bones to pupil.l and pupil.r. I change the pivot point to individual origins, and in X-ray mode, I scale the duplicated bones down. Now I'll make some eye control shapes that I can use to animate rather than selecting the bones. 
In object mode, I add a circle, and under the Object Properties tab, I rename the object. I select the left eye bone and go into pose mode. Under the bone properties tab, under the viewport display panel, I select the eye controller for the custom object, and I also assign the eye controller to the right eye. Now note, the bones will disappear, so don't panic. Back in object mode, I select the eye controller and then tab into edit mode. I want to change the scale and orientation of the controller. The first thing I do is rotate the eye controller around the x-axis 90 degrees. I then scale the eye controller so the circles around the eyes are just a bit smaller than the eyes themselves. In object mode, I duplicate the eye controller and move it back along the y-axis and rename it to pupil controller. I select the left pupil bone and go into pose mode. Under the bone properties tab, under the viewport display panel, I select the pupil controller for the custom object, and I also assign the pupil controller to the right pupil. Back in object mode, I select the pupil controller and then tab into edit mode. I scale the pupil controller so the circles around the pupils are just a bit larger than the pupils themselves. In object mode, I duplicate the pupil controller, move it back along the Y axis, and rename it to Main Eye Controller. I select the Main Eye Bone and go into Pose Mode. Under the Bone Properties tab, under the Viewport Display Panel, I select the Main Eye Controller for the custom object. Back in object mode, I select the pupil controller and then tab into edit mode. I scale the main eye controller so it surrounds both eyes and I also adjust the shape to my liking. I can now parent the controllers to the eyes and pupils. In object mode, I select the eyes and pupils and shift select the main bone. Using control P, I open the parenting menu and choose the armature to form with empty groups. The grease pencil objects have become part of the armature. If I open the object data properties tab and open the vertex groups panel, Notice that I now have vertex groups for the objects. 
I need to assign these vertex groups to the individual objects. In edit mode, I select the left pupil and assign the corresponding vertex group to that pupil. I repeat this process with the other objects, excluding the main bone. Once this is done, I go back into object mode and select the rig. In pose mode, I select each part of the rig and make sure everything is parented correctly and is working. In edit mode, I select the eye and the pupil for the left eye. I need to parent these bones, so I choose Control P to open the parenting menu and choose Keep Offset. I then shift select the main bone and using Control P to open the parenting menu and choose Keep Offset. Since I used the mirror option, the right eye is already parented. In pose mode, I select the main bone to make sure everything is moving properly. And I can now hide the three circle objects in the outliner. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Have a good day.